Hello everyone, this is Mark 3 and welcome back to cruising... Which system is this? <laughs> wow, I went on the road real quick. Cruising around in Drake, there we go, yes. Cruising around in Drake. This is just where we're starting though, it's our jumping off point for this episode because we were here last time. We were up to shenanigans between our pirate groups and all that stuff. And... Originally, I was actually planning to continue exploring this system, just like poke around, see what's in, in here, see what's going on, visit all locations and things, but um, I was umming and ahhing a little bit because it's like, I think it's one of those days where I'm a bit undecided and I was just like, going, uh, blank, 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 trying to figure out what I wanted to do. So it's like, I finally asked myself, what do you want to do? What do you want to do today? What do you want to prepare for content to be ready to go? What do you want to record? And I came back saying story. So, I have repainted my ship a little bit. I've redone it, redone the modules, redone the engines, all that stuff, as I do. Fashion space must live on. I will continue to push that thing. It will become a meme, gosh darn it, just like Fashion Souls. If only I was that influential. <laughs> But, um, yeah. I'm using the Class 4 wings again because, you know, still Class 4. I'm using the bomber because... Arc 9000. Do I need to say anything more than that? <laughs> and we're going to actually go ahead and do the thing. We are going to... Unlock Spatial Bypass. The Emissary. We're going to find out what happens. We're going to find out how soon Maddox is going to go round the bend, declare none of us are worthy to follow him. And he'll go and plunder the uh, that moon because... Um, it's only those darn Okar lizards think it's holy and then cause an interstellar incident. That's the kind of guy I see Maddox as. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're doing for today's video. With that said, let's actually do what I just said, which is... Da -da -da, not, not data, perks. Yeah. Special Bypass, we have all the bits. Let's unlock. Um, incidental thing, by the way, I did actually check up, at, like I was saying, I was going to at the end of last time, on Legendary. How to get being Legendary up to your level. And you can't, you can't improve or level Legendary, because I've tried that in the past, I've, I just forgot it, slipped my mind. But, Legendaries are not single instance, so in endgame content, you can get All more. Right, Carla. I'll radio you from the other side. Are you really about to offer yourself up as a guinea pig for an untested technology? This is insanity. Yes. Nothing ever gets accomplished by not taking chances, Hive. You can tell when you can fly through by the sparks. Sounds fancy. Let's do it. Okay. I wasn't expecting a dialogue immediately. Well, that's a lie. I, I was. I was expecting I'd have to confirm, but... All the other quests... All the other... Not, not, well, Oh, most of the other perks, I had to invest a bunch of credits and then it would unlock. But it's like, nope, it was just the, all the ingredients and it's fixed it there. So, hmm, I am locked onto Galo Gate right now. I'll, I'll head there. And then we'll figure out what I need to do. At least I can show you this paint scheme. In support of our fire friends and the lava bombs and all the good burny burny stuff, we are decked out in Crimson today. Red paint scheme, white highlights, and just showing our loyalty to the firebenders of Motor. Sure, that's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I didn't have the other tier 4 wings. I, I, I saw tier 4 wing unlocked, I thought for a moment, when I was recording the last episode, it's like, hey, you've unlocked the other tier 4 as well. How lucky is that? No. The one I unlocked was actually this one. The one I've already got, so that means I've got this one, even if I change ship later. Well, I, well, I mean, sell this ship. <sighs> Who am I kidding? It's a tier 4. I'm not going to sell this ship. Ooh. What was I expecting? Was I would need to go back to... Yes, I think I do need to go back to... Cito, back to home base. So I do need to make the trip back. I thought I did. Okay. Well, let's keep on moving then. As we continue, though, there are actually some... There's a comment I need to read out. I was going to read out the comment last time as well, by the way. So I'm sorry, it just slipped my mind during recording, because I was 
getting caught up in the love story and then the romance of it all and then playing shenanigans with the pirates' feelings and all that jazz. So it's like... You know, That's what made me decide on, in the end that I wanted to continue the story today. Let's be honest. Right. So, um, Happy Apex comment this time is actually very, very on the mark, actually. I think. As I hit boost without looking at my screen and ex then glance back saying, Oh no, I'm about to hit a wall. I was about to hit a wall. Okay. Um, Happy Apex says, Those legendary items all have such strange names. Crimson Star is fine, but the other one is bad. I mean, Pigeon Stare, really? That's the best they could come up with? Yeah, I agree. A crimson, um, a crimson Star is actually not too bad. If you can probably see bottom left, I've actually got, got that fitted now. Because Flat Cannon. Sadly, it doesn't have the other Flat Cannon's 20% chance to bounce to nearby enemies, which is very nasty. So, on those grounds, I might prefer my Flat Cannon over this. The Pigeon Stare, though, I think I know what's going on there. At least I've got a theory, and anyway... Let's be honest. For me, a theory is usually either a touch of genius, a touch of madness, um, an absolute truth, a possible myth, something semi-tangible, or complete insanity. Or all of the above. <laughs> so, <laughs> Pigeon Stare. Pigeons. It's a beam laser. You want to lock it onto the target. It continues to look at you. It's like, hmm, I see you there. Pigeons, they look around them all the time. They are they are a prey species, so that's what they do. But um, you can never get rid of a pigeon, really. They, they always, they're always there. They're always watching you. The pigeon stare, the coalition, they were kind of like the... Um, they, they did say they picked it up as salvage to give to the best pilot at one point. So, origin unknown. But the Coalition, they were the small fish in Drake for a little bit. So, they could be called the Pigeon. Sure, they were little. They were not really a threat or anything like that. But they weren't out. They were looking at the others. And the others just couldn't shake them. So they stared and they stared and they stared. And the beams turned pitch black as night. And the pigeon god rose to say unto man, You think me a mockery, good sir. You shall pay the price. I demand breadcrumbs for my species forevermore. <laughs> I am sorry. I <laughs> <clears throat> yes, that is the official reason why it's called Pigeon Slayer. 100% truth, straight from the developers, swear to god, yes. Oh, I should probably activate my jump drive, shouldn't I? Or, or not. <laughs> I, I, was, I was starting with logical reasoning. Oh, nice that it kept charging. I was starting with logical reasoning, and then it's like I started to roll with it, and then it's like the spark of madness came in, and it was like, oh, where am I even going with this? It's like, and then at the end, I just stopped and realised what uh, the nonsense I just said. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> I think that's what the reason why I'm wanting to follow the story is. Well, part of the reason I'm wanting to follow the story instead of exploring. <laughs> exploring needs to be a bit more coherent. I had the same issue with the last Mac Warrior episode from yesterday. It should be from the time this one goes out. So, <laughs> yeah, I think um, I actually cut out where I kind of lost track of things because it was not relevant to the episodes and so yeah that was a, that was a good like five minutes where I was struggling to form a sentence properly and I, I wound and I was it was after I've died in the first match it's just I couldn't really focus too well uh, I think I'm still kind of in that state I mean to maintain content variety I was thinking like yeah, this is the stream of consciousness. This wasn't meant to be a stream of consciousness, Danny. I was meant to not think. But, well... Okay, I'm lying. That was not a goal of doing this, but it's, it's turned into a stream of consciousness. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm just getting very nervous. I was going to do, like, a more complex game today. Well, for, for today, for this video. 
like Captain of Industry in particular, or Stationers, because those two are both lagging a bit behind the others, flat out. But it's like the nervousness, nervousness of um, it's a complex game, but I've been away for a bit. I might have forgotten something. I might have lost track of it. It's like uh, but they'll know. They'll know that I've not touched it for a bit. They'll know that I'm going to be substandard. It's like that little whisper was there, and it's like you can't do this. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so, I've done something I can do. Blow stuff up in space. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't worry, I will be. I'm not uh, announcing. I like this, by the way. Actually, so um, it looks like it's um, rigged onto a, a modern framework, but it's also very clearly got some alien aspects to it as well compared to the rest of our tech. So yeah, it definitely looks like a thing. So yeah, I'm not announcing any series being cancelled. Just to be clear, I'm just kind of flowing with my thoughts and my current state, as it were. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going insane. I think. <laughs> right, spatial bypass. Jump in when you see the sparks. Okay, let's follow that. I've been waffling for 15 minutes, jeez. This is... Uh... Uh, apparently I got beamed up by Scotty. Right, okay, sure. <laughs> Am I going... No, I am... I was going to say, am I going to run into that lady again? The one that just waved her hand and stopped us. But of course we are. Where are... Where are we? Okay... I told you! I knew this would end in disaster. You have been transported to a planet interior, never to find your way out again, and you will die here. Ha! I was right. All right, Hive. No need to be so happy about it. Does anyone read me? Hmm. No response. Where the heck are we? Let's just take a little look around and see if there's a way out. She tricked you. The blue alien has achieved its deception. I'm pretty sure that's not what happened, Hive. There must have been a miscalibration somehow. I mean, I did change location at least, and I am in one piece. Adam has fair points. I think Hive is going a bit paranoid because something... Hey, you know what? The wildlife in here is familiar. I'll be damned if I'm not somewhere back in the Kaid Nebula. I was going to say. The blue alien will have morphed into its true hideous self and oh, no. consumed all of your companions by now. <laughs> Seriously, Hive. Get a grip. I didn't know you were imbued with so much imagination. I am only stating possibilities. <laughs> you are enjoying my predicament way too much. True. I'm enjoying it greatly as well. Um, I wouldn't put it past things to be on the Swiss cheese planet. At least the radio silence gives me some time to think about things. Oh, I, don't. I mean, none of this is how I expected it to turn out. You know what I'm talking about, Hive? I have not the foggiest. I feel things have changed. All I cared about to start with was getting out of the DMZ, but I only seem to be becoming more embroiled in it. You are certainly deeply entangled in the political intrigues of the region. Although I am certain you could still extricate yourself. Yeah, sure, but to what end? What would be the consequences of that? We are on that planet, I think. Though in a new location. But yeah, I, I, I did pick up that we are probably in Kite Nebula. The more I think about it, oh, the more I realize that my commitments are here. And the Beltigrades. And the DMZ. Afraid a load of Viridium might get me back to the home worlds and in a very luxurious condition. But would I really be happy with myself? Happiness. Oh dear. Every philosophical discussion with a human always comes to this. I try to say something and Adam keeps saying stuff. Ah, yep, there's one. Um, you know what, Hive? More existential oh musings. Will it be like this until you starve to death? Yes. There's a way out of here. I'm <laughs> sure of it. But no matter what happens next, all I know is that I can't let my friends down. I have the feeling they're all counting on me. I just can't figure out what the right thing to do is at this juncture. 
<laughs> we have got to look good at him. I've been saying it for a while now. So we've got multiple reconstruction crystals. We got um We do have that wall which I deliberately avoided blowing up because I didn't want to trigger dialogue, but I got dialogue anyway. We are in Kite Nebula. There's an acid thing over there, but no acid sacks, which means the acid sacks are on the other side of it. Yeah, there they are. So, yeah, our way through is to blast the wall down. So, we would either craft a weapon or happen to have something like that equipped. Hmm. I wonder if I got something like that equipped. Oh! Haha, <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is quite intriguing. Um, what have we got? We've got a... Um, one of the so-called inert cubes. All right. And we do have one symbol unlocked, so that means I think I want to put it in that one there. Is it backwards like the rest of them are? Um, okay, let's turn it around at least. There we go. Right, we don't have the other one though. Where would the other one be? But I know we're on the planet because we, we saw that up. Uh, I was saying there was no sacks. There is some actually. Okay. Anyway. I'm sorry, I'm enjoying this a bit too much. And it's like, hey. And the, and the moment um, Adam stopped talking, I lose the thread of what I was thinking of saying. And it's like, <laughs> dang it. Anyway, yeah. Um. Hive definitely being overly paranoid and definitely enjoying my predicament because of my own choices led me here. He doesn't really understand that, but it's like, this Adam is different, he's asking the questions as well. I don't think this is a, a trick. I think this is genuinely a... Oh, oh, oh multiple. This is the... Oh, two at once? Come on, guys. Oh. I think this is genuinely the fact that we cobbled that thing back together out of junk which had been torn apart by an unknown, well, people that had no knowledge of how it works long ago. Are we really on the in the holy moon? No, if we were in the same map, it would have highlighted all the stuff we'd discovered so far in that map. Anyway, ancient rune. Luckily, we've got blight, blight mongers who are actually immune to the effects of the corrosion, so this doesn't matter to us at all. Once again, my dabbling with, with noxious fluids proves to be useful. Yeah, well, I really think this is just a case of, like, something old and worn and damaged and transported with probably insufficient care for who knows how long in its scattered components. It's a wonder it worked as well as it did, honestly. Okay, let's drop you in there. And do we have a mark to know what to put on here? Apparently we do. Okay. Come on. That one. Hey. Open says me. Yay, it's a reconstruction jar thing. Which I've always found very strange how they are single use. But hey, it's puzzle design. What are you going to do? Bye. Okay, so you are lit. Which leaves another lens over there. Which is going to go... That away. Yes. So we are slowly following the breadcrumbs. Until I misadjust my ship. Hang on. There we go. Come on. There we go. I'm going to be a swipe, sniper someday, I swear. My aim is legendary. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not. I wonder if... Hmm. Do I need to... break that acid? Is there something behind that acid? No, that's the acid I've already been through, isn't it? Ah, uh, yes it is. Okay. Hmm. I don't know where the next crystal is, actually. Just have to try and figure that one out. Hang on. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Turns out I was just being a bit of an idiot. Okay. Right. <sighs> okay, that one looks a bit more substantial. Four more way out. Thank you all. Next question, though. If it was here... I think I see light at the end of the tunnel. So soon? Humans often mention such a thing when they are near the end. True. No, I'm not speaking metaphorically. I really think I see a way out. <laughs> Hive is not believe. Oh, hey, look, it's a way out. Where are we? <laughs> look at that. It's where we picked up Colin and Eduardo. It is. Oh. Me? There you are, Clico. Something went wrong. You're telling me, Kala. We ended up right next to your escape pod. Ah, Toka. I think I know the reason. There are no other rips or connections yet, except for the ones on my ship. Adam, I believe this may have been caused by the lack of reference points in the cluster. Kala seems to have expected there to be other points. The experiment sent you to your present location because there was a very slight reference signal emanating from the cube within the escape pod Kala traveled in. If you can retrieve it, we will be able to calibrate a more exact travel and create more reference points where we go. Okay, let's try that. If we can get this to work without being transported into a sun's core, this tech could really be a game changer. Okay, so, um... Hmm. Is this my fast travel system? That's my next question. If it is, we've got a few bugs to work out, which is actually, I think, kind of refreshing. Most games just give you the fast travel and say, once you get this bit, here you go. Or once you reach this particular point, you can fast travel here anytime. This one's slightly different. It's slightly breaking the mold. It's sending us here, there, and everywhere. At least I think it will be, because as we gather reference frames. But it's like, it's not working properly yet, and it's actually quite a bit far into the game. Oh, I'm kidding. Let's see. There. Okay, I got Kala's cube. Adam, there is another matter. Oh no. Go ahead. Maddox. Kala is quite upset by this turn of events. She is confused as to why no reference points exist in this end of the game. I was wondering that as well. This must mean Actually. that she is a lot further from her homeworld than she first thought. Well, do your best to comfort her and let her know that we'll do what we can to help her find her way home. So, Kala, are you feeling okay? What would we need to do next? We will make new rips and connections. From what I've gathered, this works a bit like the Einstein-Rosen bridge. Toka, it's not a bridge, but a fold. Or a rip, Clico. We'll get there. But right now, I think I'll have to use conventional means to reach the Commissioner's location. I've left her hanging. I bet she'll be pissed. This fast travel technology is too promising to pass up. Let's try to open up some routes, or rips, when we assemble the parts we need. You are seriously going to attempt that folly again? Yes. <laughs> Might just be the insurance we need to get out of the DMZ if everything goes south. Time to face the music. Patch me through to the commissioner. Oh, no. First you tell me it's important, and then you don't show up. Yeah, look, I got sidetracked. Are you still at the cords you gave me? Of course not. I'm on the move again. Tell me your current location, and perhaps we can meet at a convenient point midway. I'm near Aethor, in the Kaid Nebula. Well, I'm not bringing my cruiser in there with those lunatics at large. Meet me at the abandoned jump gate in Zarkov. Don't keep me waiting. You got it. <laughs> so much for a fast... Yeah, well, let's be fair. Both story terms and in-game, we got sidetracked massively. We found something promising. I, but um, what I was saying before about like um, this one breaking the mold, it's like it, it started to look like that, and then it's like, hang on, no, it's going to give us points to go to establish it, and then it's like, click, here you go, here's a list of points to go to establish it. It's like, dang it, so close, so very close, but uh, yeah, and sadly the, the mission is just <laughs> go to different points to establish the fast travel. Um, that's oh, it's actually the bio plant. Actually, I will grab that before I head out, and we will meet at the abandoned nebula. Lunatics, though, that means that she's been into this place before, so she knows about the zealots. Adam, before you 
you proceed to the Commissioner's location. I would like to request that I accompany you to the meeting. Actually, Tareen, that might not be a bad idea. I think she needs to get the bigger picture on this. Although I think Hawk knows a lot of the DMZ's secrets, an Okar perspective might be what she needs. Adam is listening. Adam is being reasonable. Why don't you fill me in a little more on the significance of this comet? Eshahar is of great importance, and its passage signals the beginning of a season of ritual festivities on our home planets. Okay. Let's jump out before someone else says something. Um, but yeah, thing is, our taurine's away, and we're playing nice with the um, with the authorities. Maddox is going to pull a fast one of that, I am fairly sure. Anyway, let's go to the bio plant and see what we need to do to unlock one of these rips. Let's get an idea. <laughs> so this is one of the places Kala marked. I should be able to establish a spatial bypass here. You are determined to risk your particles being rearranged for this alien technology? You're just sore you didn't come up with it yourself. I have other priorities in case you fail to notice. Keeping you alive, for one. And that's rewarding enough for you. Gala, are you there? Nama? Yes, Clico, I am here. I'm at the first location. So what happens now? Use the cube with the rice components to create a rip in space. Rip in space, yeah, so you keep saying. Okay, so I need all these components? Some seem very particular. I'll give you a list of the appropriate components. They are a little different here than in my homeworld, but they should serve their purpose. I see, okay. I'll call you again once I have the basics. Alright, seems like I need all the parts to make this work. Let's see what we got. I, I am surprised and not surprised that fast travel needs Clygon. <laughs> I don't know why that, that material's been a bit of a meme for me this entire playthrough. Since I first started getting it, it's like, Clygon, really? It's like, I don't know why I find it funny. I think it's just like, because I had no use for it when I first started get, getting it, and then it's like, it reminded me of some old washing machine adverts, and then it's just like, it's been a joke to me ever since. Anyway, so we need to pay resources to fabricate things. It is actually end game kind of materials, so yeah, this is not quite as simple as visit and you can immediately fast travel. You must have the resources. Luckily, because of how much I've been playing, I mean, um, 142 hours? <laughs> you know, it's, uh, I've been at this for a bit. Um, yeah, I have a fair amount of resources on hand, though I'm, I'm constantly short of the high-end materials because I'm just not far enough into the stories for them to become plentiful, I think. I did it! It's done! Hey! Dalla, are you there? I established the first spatial bypass. The first rip! Yes, Clico. I've seen the energy surge near you. You can use any rip to get back here. So I should be able to fast travel between here and the home base now. I need to establish more points if I want to get around quickly. Yes, Clico. You can build more. I'll give you a few more places that fit. It doesn't work everywhere. Got it. Let's try this out now, shall we? No. You risk being translocated <laughs> to your grave. I... a hypothetical question, Hive. I really don't need your opinion. This technology goes against all science. I thoroughly disapprove of it. Science is a repeatable action which achieves predicted results. But that's... A basic fundamental of um, actually that's a basic fundamental of engineering. Science. What was it? What was the old thing? Scientists um, find something strange. They poke, poke around and poke around with it until they get a predictable result, and then they give it to the engineers, and the engineers make something out of it. Yeah, I, th I think that's the old um, adage or saying. So anyway, right. I'm going to be bypassing the Commissioner again, and I can't say I'm unhappy with that. So, the mission... Do I... Is the mission actually to do the rip? It seems like it is not. 
though working only a few places it does mean it skips some travel time but um having the internal in, in system travel speed is still also a, a boon as well anyway sure let's go to here Yeah, this is a pretty solid tech, though. When it works. Kind of unfortunate for Nala, though. She's down here. No beacons from anyone else. I mean, that means she's the only survivor of her ship, or the only one that was lost. See, I, I don't know. Wasn't all that bad. On appearances, yes. Although we shouldn't discount the possibility that we have entered a parallel universe. Oh. With a similarly grouchy onboard AI. Nah. I doubt it, Hive. You're one of a kind. All probabilities are equally probable. <sighs> yeah. Well, well, there is also the other saying. Any su sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. <laughs> so, yeah, I think um, I'll head back towards Zarkov. This will be the first... Yeah, this is actually going to be the first cut in the video. Ooh, there's two actually out here, isn't there? Of course there's one at Torn Station, of course. Yeah, it's going to be first cut in the video, I think. <laughs> I did not expect to have so much in one go. Wow. Sorry about that. But uh, yeah, that's sometimes just how the cookie crumbles. And of course, keeping the commission waiting. Of course I'm not in the hurry to get back to the commission. I have a shiny thing to investigate. Yes. We go back at Torn Station. Um, wait a second, where am I? This isn't the out outer room. I thought we were going to the outer room, the, the place where the guy that lists everything is. I mean, I'm kind of surprised I've not had any kind of missions or anything from him for a while now. Torn Station, Torn Station. Gosh, it's been a long time since I've been here. There's just been no reason to visit, honestly. I guess it's a convenient spot to drop a beacon, but uh, yeah, if it, it looks like it's got the same cost every time. All right, Union is now connected with my steadily growing network of spatial bypass locations. I would still rather the tried and tested means of trusted junkie travel. A very conservative viewpoint, Hive. Nothing changes without risk. Mm, fair. Um, though Hive doesn't seem to be taking into account the fact that this was accepted as an emergency transport measure for Nala's people. And it was a regular thing for them. And it seemed to work for them. Doesn't ask the question of where they all are now. Like, where are the ship's inhabitants? Also, was Nala in suspended animation or something? I don't really know. But affordability, while I'm here, I can grab... Prescott Starbase as well. Then I'll also then I'll go to the gas field. Then I'll go to the um, abandoned jump cape. Actually, considering he listens to all of the transmissions and things, I'm surprised that guy hasn't called us about this um, tech we we're installing everywhere either. You'd think he would, but uh, apparently not. Ooh. Um, this is kind of obvious, isn't it? So much for keeping this technology a secret if we're installing it way out here in the full view of everyone. I, I'm kind of glad, though, that Prescott Starbase is actually available. Because it is like a. Um, spatial bypass location to add to the network. Leaving possibly unstable miniature wormholes throughout the cluster may come back to haunt you at a later point. Nah. <laughs> Not at all. I This is going to be 100% beneficial and absolutely no drawbacks at all, Hive. I am glad that... I was saying, I'm glad Prescott Starbase is included. Considering um, it's a major shop hub and mission hub. Like, there's two mission givers there. Cato Clan and I think it was the um, GMB, GMB office. Also, there's a ship vendor. There's multiple shops. So it, it's actually a place... It's a place I've visited extremely frequently while doing trading runs and things. 
just because there's so many places to pick up um, decent supplies for trading there. At least on the circuit I was doing, which is like um, Seto, Zarkov, Reunion. I was doing that ring grinding money for this ship. That said though, I am kind of glad that the other beacon, well, I, was, I think it would have been story-wise, it should have been near that guy's place, but he's a terrible shop. He has like a few loose odds and ends and that's it. I've never really been able to get much from him by way of trade goods or materials. And Cartwright's Wake, sure I passed through here more than Prescott Station of course because it's, it's the, um, the link to and fro. But this place tends to sell a lot of weapons hardware, which is pretty understandable because it's black market, not black market, I say it's um, an underground gun runner kind of place. That's what they do. Um, they often have um, a wide range of weapons that are for sale, but it's like not quite what we're after. Anyway, let's keep on going this way. I am sorry. I I was planning to do this mostly quiet and do it off screen to make get some progress on. It's like, I found something to talk about. Here we go. It's odd for me to find things to talk about. <laughs> At least I find it odd. Don't know about you guys. I mean, my videos usually are me just blathering on into the microphone. <laughs> At the end of the day, a YouTuber must be insane because they send large amounts of time sitting in a room talking to themselves. That's one little meme that I have never forgotten since I first heard it, because it's also very, very accurate. Same for streamers, not just YouTubers, sorry, YouTubers, streamers. Yeah. Anyway. Did I just bypass the thing? No, I, I, I'm getting a, a ping from a different one. Oh no, I recognise this place. I, I saw that green light in the clouds. Gas fields. This is where the plasma gas minigame is. Oh no. No, 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 no. I am going to continue acting traumatised by that. <laughs> Zarkov can now be added to the list of spatial bypass travel locations. Why would you ever wish to return here? The scenery hive. Just look at this place. Yeah, look at it. Purely a matter of subjectivity. You have no appreciation of aesthetics. You're missing out. I, I'm with Adam on this one. Look at this place. It's, it's, it really does look like it's like it looks like um, a misty mountain top kingdom from here. You can't see the foul abominations of, of the plasma harvesters lurking in the clouds. I think that's probably one mini game I'm not really going to do completion. Sadly, though, I think it, all, it does count. I mean, look here. One out of four plasma harvesters. Meaning I there's some here that I never even saw when I was first here. I think I saw two, if I can recall correctly. Anyway, now that we're close, we are going to abandon jump gate to meet up and discuss what might be about to happen with the Oka. Notice, by the way, we are leaving Maddox with the android and the doctor with only Elec as by way of um, a space fighter c companion nearby so if things are gonna go wrong from um, Maddox getting uppity about it this might be about the time I'm guessing <laughs> this might be about the time things start to go truly sideways. Well, here we are. Let's see what the Commissioner has to say about all this. Adam, I must admit I have some trepidation about how events appear to be escalating. As far as I can make out, Hawk is here in a diplomatic and intelligence capacity. We just need to get the word out to keep the peace. Oh boy. Now what? 
What took you so long, Roslyn? I thought you knew how to navigate the DMZ. You haven't been straight with me about the mission you sent me on, to the Lunar Colony. Well, my mission here is over. And I have no further assignments for you, unless you want to make yourself useful for once and give me something this massage droid cannot. Damn it, Hawk. We know about the sacred comet, and we know its trajectory. You sent me to check how close Blakemore was to finding it. Any violation of the comet, of Eshahar, would result in the end of any toleration between our races. Yes, I know. Spare me the lecture. Traitor Tarin, the Okar warrior who wanted to be a cleric. Another anomaly of the DMZ. What strange bedfellows you two make. The Okar consider you an outcast. Why do you care whether we go to war? I may have pursued the life of religious contemplation, but I would still fight to protect peace. The return of Eshahar and the discovery that it is in danger has reawakened my sense of commitment to my faith and my people. Interesting. And you obviously found Mr. Roslin receptive to your concerns. If it wasn't for you, I'd leave this godforsaken place once and for all. But I also hate unfinished business. And perhaps I underestimated you from the very beginning. Okay, let me fill you in on some of the details. Okay, so she knows things too. By all appearances, you have found the comet before Blakemore. Unfortunately, the Okar are also aware of his activities. They are preparing a preemptive strike against GMB's lunar colony. That would trigger a war. Indeed. And as it happens, you have found me after appraising the Federal Council of the situation. And they have resolved, quite disappointingly, to let affairs play out on their own. Oh, no. I asked to parlay with Emissary Sarath in order to buy time and allow me to handle GMB myself. However, communications have suddenly ceased. There is a sub-faction of Okar hardliners agitating for war. My suspicions lead me to believe that they have something to do with this. I get the feeling you have the need for another covert operation. You and Tareen might be the key to solving this impasse. It's not like I can go in with a fleet cruiser, guns blazing. This would get me the leverage I need to stop Blakemore. As previously agreed, you would receive full amnesty. You get to keep your base, and you gain free passage out of the DMZ. Tareen, what do you think? You up for this? I do not expect to receive much welcome from my kind. I am the errant example that spawnlings are warned of. You're still an Okar. Even if I reach the Emissary, he has no reason to listen to me. But together, he might just be curious enough to hear us out. Perhaps. Of course, whether we can reach the Emissary alive is another question. More factions. Oh, joy. <laughs> but yeah, this is a very delicate situation. And of course, the human government are staying out of it until forced to intervene. So, Tareen... What can you tell me about these Okar hardliners? They call themselves Okar Prime. They seek to reclaim all space lost by the arrival of the Colonials. Any opportunity to trigger a new war would suit their purposes perfectly. Their sentiments do not reflect those of the Okar majority, however, who are happy to remain in a separated peace. Okay, fair. Alright, um, go to the ancient sit still. What? Oh, we're going back there, are we? Okay, sure. Um, since we're right here at the jump gate, you know what, if we just come through the jump gate in the first place, we'd just turn around and go back through, wouldn't we? <laughs> but then they wouldn't have the fast travel beacons. Still though, yeah. Factions, uncaring governments, and yeah, the, this is a valid point that um, Adam by himself probably wouldn't be listened to, but he is rising above and beyond what has been expected of his of the clones by um, our lady friend there. I, I, I'm blanking on her name now. I'm not so sure of her name. But yeah, the, Adam, this Adam is doing good things. He's actually showing some results, some promise. And he's also an outsider from all factions, more or less. So it's like, you know, he's a good go-between to try and get things done. That could be worse. God damn it, Adam. What's taking you so long? I got Maddox breathing down my neck, and he is kicking up a stink. 
Hey, Delia, the Commissioner sent us to make contact with the Okar about the situation. Sit tight, I'll keep you posted. Yep, Maddox is getting restless. This isn't going to wind up um, biting us, not at all. Remember, there's two whole systems I've not been to yet. I mean, I may be about to hit level 30. I mean, I'm halfway through 29, but it's like... There's still... There's still a ch big chunk of the game to go, it seems like. Those are new ship types I'm not super Tariq, familiar with. Can you provide a distraction while I figure out a way through this force field? You can count on me. Adam. I think I have a key. Oh, what are those? Here's my key. I was just thinking I haven't had a chance to fire that yet this episode. <laughs> Manual debt. What if we got a signal out to the Okar authorities to let them know a high-ranking official has been taken hostage? They would react, certainly. Perhaps this is a sensible course of action. Well, I can't contact them myself. Hive, are you able to access the Corvette's comm system? It appears that it has been disabled. I detect disconnected comms tech floating in the vicinity. If you wish to reactivate the comm system, collect all the associated parts. I will highlight them for you once the force field is down. Okay, yeah. We could use all the help we can get. Even if it's Okar authorities. It did say after the thing is down. Okay. Um. Oh, well, these guys. Okay, so they they pop off once they lose. Um. Once they lose their armor. So I can just attack them with a few missiles. Oh, actually, if, if I get a corrode on them, even better. Okay. Bring out the mines. Okay, so that, that thing is marked as hostile, but I don't think it's because I tagged you with my corrosion mine. I think it's just because they are... What the heck was that? Oh, okay, whatever. I connected the piece. I think it's because they their comm parts got shot off and then they got bubbled to keep them here. So, if I give them this little comm part, they should be good, right? There you go. The Corvette's comm system is functional again. There we go. It now needs to be powered up. I will use your booster's energy to power up the system. You must remain close in order for this to work. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not in any trouble. Really? Taurine's keeping them all busy. Maybe the ship is a bit overpowered. <laughs> Maybe it is. Ah oh, well. I mean, I'm just melting these guys. At what level are they, anyway? Level 18. No wonder. No wonder. Right. 
Oh, I'm... Access the system and dispatch an emergency broadcast. This is like the old days of analog. You take a weakling's approach by summoning the authorities to your aid. They're disengaging. This is our chance to get on board. Hailing clerical corvette. Do you read me? We are on a diplomatic mission and request access to the emissary. It appears that we must force sentry. It may be that the hardliners still have control of the corvette. Or maybe they're just blocking us access. Though that said, they would have to be blind to not see the fighting that just went on around them. But as soon as they were free of the shield, they didn't move away either. So something's up. You brought a stick to a gunfight? These are dangerous extremists we're taking on here, Tareen. This part must be done the way of the old warrior code. Do not harm the ones in ropes and stay behind me. Oh, okay. Careful. Best keep your blaster holstered. I've seen a side of you I never knew, Tarin. Okar never forgets his training. <laughs> All to grant an audience. You are the traitor we've heard of. The one who left the brood to become a menial merchant to the humans. I have become something you cannot understand. And now I will not allow you to stand in the way of peace with the humans. The talk of a coward. You want to settle this the traditional way, after you abandon your chosen path. He wandered, but he did not forget. My own master. You are but a slave to the warrior code. I see before me such things as I could not have foreseen. Your Eminence, I am Tarine, and this is my companion, Adam Roslin. Tarine, of course. I am familiar with your story, so you have decided to return to us? Not exactly. We have come bearing a message from Commissioner Hawk of the Colonial Fleet. Eshahar is under threat from the humans. The Comet is under threat from rogue agents who do not represent us. The Commissioner sent us to plead for more time before an Okar intervention. She sends assurances that this problem can be solved internally among us Colonials. Hmm. You are known to us too, Adam Roslin. Indeed, we have encountered you a number of times in quite a variety of contexts. Tell me, why do you care about the Oka, of whom you have killed so many? I understand there are peaceful elements to your society. I have just never met them before. And of Eshahar, what do you know? I have learned from Tareen that it is sacred to you. Sacred, indeed. The spirits of our ancestors are embedded in its ancient stones. Twice in each generation they pass to share their visions of the past, present, and future. But perhaps you know this. Perhaps you have been touched by Eshahar. Tareen, I commend you and your friend for your noble interference. It was timely. Relay to the Commissioner that the Grand Master shall be informed. And we shall stay our hand, at least for the time being. And Tareen, should you ever wish to return to us, a clerical vocation is still open to you. Thank you. Your eminence. We will resolve this. You have my word. Adam vouching personally. Yep, Adam's getting invested. He's going to do what he thinks is right. Go, Adam. Come on. <laughs> I'm rooting for this, Adam. I really am. Your timely intervention may have altered the disastrous course of our shared history. And thanks to the signal you sent, the authorities will be here shortly. I have informed them of your great assistance. 
It was an honor to be of service. And an honor to meet you. I'll need to update Hawk on the situation. Commissioner Hawk, do you read me? I hope it's good news, Mr. Roslin. Your suspicions were correct about hardliners being the reason for the emissary's radio silence. He was being held hostage. We were able to free him, and he has not been harmed. This suggests tensions between the Elkar castes are intensifying, and could sour already strained relations. For the time being, we've been given assurance that the order will be issued not to attack GNB, as long as GNB do not attempt to touch the comet. The Grandmaster's proclamation on this should guarantee that none will cross that line. I hope so. Although we should not presume to test the Okar's toleration further. GNBs still need to be brought to heel to prevent conflict. Of course, it's the mega corporation in search of eternal profit that is causing problems. <laughs> And also, I'm guessing that um, since we broadcast while still docked their ship right next to the comp array there, uh, they they probably had access to those communications. So they they know what we were saying. It's like we, we we just made a pretty strong case for ourselves as well. Though this is where Maddox steps in. Okay, units incoming. We summoned the authorities. I will be escorted back to the old cars. Godspeed, and may your mission be crowned with success for the sake of Eshahar. Of course, they're using jump drives to show off. We know those are jump drives rather than normal FTL. Inform the others what's been going on. Delia, do you read me? Adam, I was just about to contact you. There we go. <laughs> left the base just a short time ago. There was nothing we could do to stop him. He took Eduardo, too. Yep. Damn it, Maddox. He's gonna ruin everything. Just hang tight. We'll come back to base and we'll sort this out. Yep. Maddox. The thing is, Maddox has been so focused on this goal, and so driven, will we be able to stop him? I'm not sure that he'll be willing to stop. I'm suspe I suspect Eduardo was taken forcibly. But yeah, if the stones are touched, even just after we give them assurance, especially like by someone in close relation to me, it's just like... That is going to cause trouble. Just a bit, just a bit, just a bit. Still no sign of going to Athen or Kion. Uh, yeah, Athen or Kion. This is uh, exactly the wor worst time for Maddox to decide to go and get his um, lifelong goal over that payday that he's been seeking. He really doesn't stop on this, does he? Especially when uh, Okar is involved, he doesn't care about the Okar. In fact, he's kind of like how Adam used to be. Like, Adam was very single-minded in trying to get out of the DMZ come hell or high water. But uh, this Adam has not. The GMB Adam is probably still like that, taken to an extreme, but, you know... Uh, anyway, <laughs> enough, enough musing. There's nothing else to do here, I don't think. Yeah, we got everything here. I mean, we have maxed out this system, except for the place that shall not be named. Uh, Athel. Uh, stop looking at that. Don't want to look at that. Anyway. We are going to end it there, though. Because this is about to go very wrong, and I might be blamed for part of it. Though Taurine will vouch for my part in things as well, so it's just like, yeah. And Maddox's plans were underway long before I became involved. So, who knows? Anyway. Yeah, this is my mother. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Helps out me, helps out the channel. Gives you those virtual hip outs I oh so crave. And we'll catch you all some other time. As I try to position myself very close to Taurine to here so I can get... Um, this is probably going to be for the thumbnail. Yeah, I think I think yeah. I'll, I'll try to get his ship for the thumbnail. So yeah, 
Um, like, share, comment, subscribe. Good stuff, health, and me, how to do that. Virtual head by side. Oh, so grave. Just trying again. And I'll catch you all some of the time. I really should stop interrupting in the middle of that because I lose track of where I was. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you all later. As I try to get a good screenshot for the thumbnail here. Mm. Ooh, shiny. No, no. I want to get Taurine's ship in this as well. Because Taurine played a pivotal role in this episode. 